question is to the Minister for the Status of Women. A couple of weeks ago, I asked the Minister about Hope 24-7, a victim service organization in Peel Region that is powerless to help many of its vulnerable clients because of this government's mismanagement. More than 130 people seeking care had to be turned away at the moment of their greatest need. Do you know how the government responded to this crisis? They shamefully told Hope 24-7 that they are doing too much and that they should cut oh back goodness. their services. Oh this government hides behind the fact that they funded Hope 24-7 for 20 years, but the truth is this government doesn't even have a clear funding formula in place. Everything is done the way it's done simply because that's the way it's been done in the past. Well, that just won't cut it, Mr. Speaker. My question to question. the minister is, when will this government act to address the disgraceful wait list at Hope 24-7, and when will they implement a funding formula Thank that you. actually works for victims of sexual violence? Minister of the Status of Women. So uh, I'd like to thank the member opposite for the question, and I just want to say that keeping women in our province safe is absolutely one of the number one priorities of our government. In fact, that's why we launched uh, several programs on this, including the It's Never Okay Action Plan to Stop Sexual Violence and Harassment in March 2015. It was groundbreaking, and it put our province on the map as a leader in this area. When it comes to specific funding of various uh, organizations in around the province. We are looking into what's happening with HOPE 24-7. We know that there are some issues in terms of their uh, formula, and we are working with them to ensure that we are helping them and supporting them get, uh, get, the, uh, uh, get the, their programs in line and their services Answer. in line. We are motivating generational change when it comes to ensuring that we are supporting women who are victims of violence. We're making sure that we're creating a Thank you. Supplementary. Well, cutting their services is not helping them, and that's what you told them to do. Do you know that our victim services organizations aren't even allowed to help children under 16 under the current funding guidelines? Crazy. The minister should know that the average age of a victim of human sex trafficking is just 14 years old. Shameful. Yet our victim service organizations are being told not to help them because they fall outside of the funding rules. Unbelievable. This is a travesty, Mr. Speaker. The government should be fixing this outrageous oversight rather than hauling victim services organizations out to read them the riot act. The government keeps saying that they are responding to sexual violence with their action plan, but they have offered absolutely no timeline for a review of services. They go on dragging out, delaying, while victims like those seeking help at Hope 24-7 are denied vital services. Question. So again to the minister, when will this government finally stop defending outdated bureaucratic processes and finally design a system that actually prioritizes victims of sexual violence? General. Thank you very much, Speaker. Let me first of all recognize that Hope 24-7 does very important work throughout the Peel region. Speaker, that is why we have provided them with funding for over 20 years now. Since 2003, Speaker, our funding for all sexual assault center programs has increased by 45 percent. In 2005, in fact, Speaker, we increased Hope 24-7's budget by over $31,000 as part of our It's wow. Never Okay action plan to increase funding to all sexual assault centers by 7 percent. In fact, Speaker, Hope 24-7 currently receives almost $500,000 from the Ministry of Attorney General, the sixth highest funding allocation in all of Ontario. Speaker, we have committed to reviewing counseling services across the province, and we have asked Hope 24-7 to Answer. be part of this conversation. In addition, Speaker, there's a provincial working group of sexual assault centers currently reviewing the program as well. Thank you. We look forward to continue working.